Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. I got a couple of pieces in the mail the other day, a little bit unusual, and I thought I'd share them with you guys, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy of Easy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. I'm also excited to, to announce the new packaging for our Easy Beasy. We have a 6.4 ounce version and also a 3.8 ounce version. This is a push-up tube, which is way easier and convenient to use. Thank you again for helping support this channel by purchasing my product. So let's get on into our video. I had a friend ask me if I was interested in this little piece right here, and this is a Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series skillet. Very cool. It's, uh, you can see the lettering underneath has the descriptive size that lets you know it's Birmingham Stove and Range. Also, we have a nice ridge here teardrop hanger hole and uh, this is an aftermarket process and uh, can hardly tell it but right here we have a inspection mark which is a flathead screw mark whenever they had a mold that they was going to check and see if it was the one that was having issues they would have a way to spot the pieces that come from that mold sometimes you'll see a flathead and sometimes you'll see a phillips head here are two examples from a number seven. Here is a flat, I can get it right here is a flat head inspection screw. And here is another one where they used a Phillips head. That was just an interesting way to follow the pieces from a particular mold to make sure it's still working at optimum level. So back to this little piece right here. This is a Century Series. Century started in about the 1950s. They were making a lot of cast iron in the 50s. It is just amazing how much they could put out. You will see these in green a lot. What would happen is another company would take a shipment from Birmingham Stove and Range. They would do the coating. I don't know if BSR actually distributed the pieces after they were coated. You will see them in other colors. I've seen them in white. I've seen them in a yellowish color and an orange. I've got one that's yellow. You can see where the coating has gotten thin where the rust has came through on the heat ring. That's from it being rubbed back and forth on uh, a stove top. We also have the, the uh, ridge and this here is Century Series as well. You barely can see it inside. Get the light just right. And it has a white interior. So this is the only two pieces of enamel Birmingham Stove and Range that I have. I like to have a few more pieces just to be able to share them with other people. So I hope that you've enjoyed this short video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. I've been a little bit slow on getting them out. Hopefully I will be able to get them out a little quicker in the future. So thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I just want to say share the word and be a blessing.